welcome back to, well, this little mess here. Um, I sent also the councillor to take control or marshal to increase control because control is uh, not ideal right now. Where can I see control? Can we see control? Cultures, fate, terrain, development, governments. Ah. No. How do we see control? <laughs> I know there is a... Uh, that's how we see control. Okay, you can see Marrakesh and all this is quite in the uh, uproar still due to the whole Al Muhari situation. But you can see there's a whole bunch of control issues throughout the Empire, uh, most of which do not concern us, but this one does indeed concern us. We could, of course, uh, give this away to the Duke of Marrakesh. And we probably should as well, because uh, they are going to dislike us for holding it. Uh, then again, it doesn't matter because they love us so very dearly for giving them all this stuff. By the way, I haven't really checked where we are timeline-wise, so I don't even know how much time exactly we have left to accomplish our goals here. But, uh, well, uh, in the end it doesn't matter all that much. We are seeing here a war being fought for a vassalization, so this is going to be absorbed in just a moment. As you can see, they're almost done. Uh, so this kind of leaves the kingdom of Arjuran, and now that we are done with uh, dealing with these weird things down south uh, or north, we can deal with this. And this, this is a good uh, claim of our dear son and heir. So of course we will uh, back this. There's not even a question for it. Let's move our purple army over here and this will be the imperial color from here on out both because it's well historical as a color uh, and as well because well they defeated overwhelming odds I dare say I now just see that I can't see my recording thing so I'm gonna have to do some uh Weird stuff at the moment here. There we go, now I can see my recording thing because I, I get spooked if I don't see my recording thing. I know you didn't know need to know that. It's not like it's like live or anything and you can react to it in real time and interact with me, but... Um, I'm not here to do good things. I'm here to prattle on while playing games that I kinda sorta enjoy for the most part. And you are hopefully here because, I don't know, my voice is soothing. I hear that sometimes. So, that's what I'm providing. Soothing voice to armies killing each other. Wow, we wiped those dudes out. Holy heck. Twelve men survived. Ah. <laughs> it was only champions. That survived. My goodness. Oh no! Our son and heir has cancer. Don't you dare die before we pressed your claim successfully. You stay alive, boy. Oh! The immediate enforcation. Come on. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay, now you can die. No, it's okay. No, no, it doesn't matter too much anymore. Um. <laughs> Goodness. Mm, he don't like us, so no. Like us and maybe. Yeah, you can you can have the boy free. Uh, let's have some mystical communion, huh? And I think no, we can't afford a pilgrimage. We will sit on our money like a dragon. Right, I wanted to expand up here a little bit as well. We do have the capital and... Ooh, look at that. There's some claims as well. Very good. Do we have the capital for this? Yes, we do. But uh, it's, that's quite costly. I mean, it's all at once. Um, 
Let's see what else we have. Nothing as interesting. Can we take this in any other way all at once? Yes, and this would be way cheaper for us. This would be cool. Oh, it's just... No. What? Where is it? There. Why is this so expensive? Who is this even? I don't care. We'll do a holy war. <clears throat> Purple army to the rescue. I see there's less people up here to begin with, so we start out with less, that's enough. Let's just move in. Everyone all at once. Go reinforce, my boys! It's the African way. Uh, let's check down here. These guys are nearly done. Dude, we have won two wars in the time you were trying to get 2% going. Oh. oh, Byzantian Empire has a little bit of a rebellion going on. You might want to take advantage of that once we're done here. And we're done here. So let's disband. Right, I wanted to create a second... Uh, second little... Kingdom thing here. So let's rather create the kingdom. Oh, that's expensive. My god. Right, who do we have who needs titles? Uh, no. He. He can get all the titles. There we go. <clears throat> so that's the second kingdom out here. Okay. Dear Byzantine Empire. It's very unfortunate to hear about your war against the tyranny of you. I hope you are well. But I have terrible news for you. Uh, we must rectify a little a bit of an issue. Uh, you see, what we call Delta is in fact ours. So we would like to make sure that things are where they should be. Sorry boys, you're running into me there. I'm mustering. Can't be helped. So the Byzantines could potentially bring everything they have to bear. So we'll go to 15,000 troops for this. Uh, okay, now we're probably not going to do that. Uh, because we can't actually afford it. And we also can't borrow money, so that's a bit bad. Okay. We need... Two sieges going all at once to make money. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, we need to kick out some levies. Uh, this army will be stood down. I don't want to lead this army. Let me lead the smaller army. Will we accomplish this before time runs out? Eh, okay, we can afford to 
beard wore a little bit longer. That wasn't ideal. Not my best idea. Well, not to meddle in things. Where could we get money from? Koruna is under siege. What the heck is Koruna? I don't know. Sieges should give us money, shouldn't they? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's how we're gonna afford this little war. These are all the Imperial rebels, I think. And then we'll strike out at Byzantium directly. It's kind of my plan. So will be several wars against them. Don't be fooled, this will take a while. Uh, we can deal with the stress, that's fine. Are these Imperial rebels? Despotate of Cyprus? I mean, they're fighting them. Like, we really have no idea what um, arm, armillary sphere we have discovered. Which is what? Ooh, what is Muladi? Different culture, opinion, and development growth. Ooh, that's not bad. What sphere? Naval speed. Okay. Well, that's not bad, as we are looking to sail across the ocean to visit Greece once more. If we can even afford it. Might have made a very bad decision here. Declaring war with this little fund. You are not Byzantium troops. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's a big gamble. Let's grant some vassals here. Don't care about this. Let us become gallant. Martial prowess, monthly prestige, attraction opinion. Gallant strategists aren't we fantastic. Oh god. Sailing costs us money? Big gamble. I thought it, it's like, okay, you pay once and then that's it. Why is our money going down? And so sharply too. Okay. How long do we figure this will take? Oh, yes! Yes! Amir al Umar Mamadi! You have paid out your own treasury to aid my efforts. It does indeed reduce my stress. Oh, just, just in the nick of time. So there's some Byzantines being raised right next to us. We keep laying siege to Constantinople in hopes of catching us a big fish in here. And then we're probably gonna run away. A whole lot of running away. 
How many troops do you have left? 19,000. So nothing substantial has changed in your situation. Except you're done with all the other wars now. So you're probably going to attack us here? Unless you come defend. And we have some gold reserves now. Come on, someone good! Ugh! Nothing! But 300 gold, I mean. That's not bad. And a whole bunch of percentage. Alright, wish us luck, wish us luck. This is really like... Assassination work, what we're doing here. This is not warfare, this is just... Very directed, concentrated... Strikes... At the enemy... In hopes of avoiding battle altogether. So we can shore up more money. Uh, I'm considering attacking them. But it's 16,000 that's being raised. Or no, I don't know how many is being raised. The siege is going very quick. Ah! <laughs> we did it. My goodness, we did it! Most lucrative war ever. Look at them. They just shown up. Oh, we did it. Goodness me, we did it. I wanna I wanna thank the dude who gave us money. My god, we did it. Okay, brother. My friend. My good dear friend. We have uh, some scores to settle here. I mean, troops you have 30,000? Why do you have 30,000 troops? What's this? Oh no, that down there is not a full duchy. Oh goodness. Okay, should we take this in our first step? Oh, you survive! My boy, my dear boy! You survive! Let's go to a party. Honestly, let's sit back for a little bit. And why are you so strong? Oh, my friends, we did it. We took the delta. Oh. Let's put this back home. Uh, if I could remember where home is. Here. What do you want? You can have it. Ah, yes. It is time to click on all the wrong buttons. And to send out people. I don't even care. Oh, well, then again, you might bring money. Were you the chess of Sergia? Bye bye. Lady with the headband. Scroll past her. Bori to the world. One child. Just adhere to Bori. Answer claims. I'm Bori. Ah, we already talked to him. It's still confusing that they are, um, that their position of the face flips. In these windows, that's just. I don't know, kind of weird. But it speaks to what the brain constantly does. Trying to figure out faces. Now we talked to him already.
care. You stay there. You're one of mine. It's like all the other children can go there not in trouble if they promise never to do it again and to adhere to Bori's blessings in the future. But my kids, oh, they're in for some trouble. I tell you. Oh, we can just go. Yay. He likes us because we made him leave or allow him to leave rather. Oh, you won't accept. That's... That's, that's quite sad. For one of us, anyway. The other is probably gonna sleep quite well tonight. All the bori into the world. I'm not gonna ask them to renounce claims anymore because I figure if they press their claims and somehow get them, then they will be bori leaders in the name of bori. Leading us to more bori. Yeah, I will click all these. My god, oh man. 52 people. I will inject borinism into the world, you, you rest assured. Are you good at anything? Oh! Ah. Ah. Oh, uh, rival. We could take her as our concubine. There. She's gonna hate it. Zero percent chance. We'll do it. That sounds like the right amount of chance to me. Ah, oh, I'm being so mean. But for being our rival, she doesn't even hate us so much. After all, we are a living legend. We can't. And we're gallant. It's... It's hard to argue with uh, such an amazing man. Right, so down here this is settled. Uh, why is this a free radical? That goes directly to me. I don't like it. You belong to this kingdom there. I don't really want to create this title. We'll just create this and ah, eat the money loss and see which family member would like to become a king. Who do we have? Huh? You? You want to be a king? Oh, can I even give that away? Oh no, I don't have anything to give away here. Whoops. Ah, let's give it to Abyssinia. Can't give her that. Shame. This is not a matrilineal uh, marriage. Okay. A friend, then we will find someone who is in a matrilineal marriage. Who is? You. You can have this. Enjoy. My god, this is, this is pitiful. <laughs> Almost nothing. But he has two kingdoms. Yes, he does. What are you? Ah, you don't belong to anyone. Hey, you. Have this dude. <laughs> Can't have you just sitting around there, belonging to no one in particular. So what are our next moves? Probably pick up some more steam in Spain. Byzantium is well and true. Oh, no ruler, but still a truce. Uh, they are well and truly humiliated by our attack. I think we should take this as well. 
soon. We have two allies. What? Why do I have 16 allies? That's not even true. Because they're all kind of internal allies. No one's going to help come for us. Oh no. The cold. I hate it when they don't have the name as they do on the map. The Khalid Emirate. Muzaffarid. Sure. That's their whole thing. Um, what allies do you have? And why are you vast? Why are you inferior to us? We have a lot of troops. Now I want to shore up money first. I don't trust it because if we have to raise everyone, that's that's too little in our war chest. He has about the same, so uh, it's kind of equal. But still. So while we wait, uh, we can wage smaller wars out here, maybe. You are already fighting someone. The Holy War for the Emirate of Algrave. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to go one way or another. So we might as well turn our eyes to the north and check this thing out. Uh, pitiful claim. Leon, that's nice. One, two, three, four, five. Four hundred against twelve thousand. It's gonna cost us a bit, but also bring us money. Um, sure, let's do it. One more thing today. This will be it. So we raise all here. And um, we check the money primarily, how far we go. So we want a, a good 10,000 or so, would be good. Oh, let's go for, yeah, that's it. 10 gold. A lot. We'll bundle them and then split them. So we can attack two at a time. And we are of course leading something. As is tradition. And they are bumbling around there in the north. Ah! Damn you! One army of mangonels where it belongs. I think they will attack us. But once their armies have passed this threshold, we'll raise some more here. If they come toward us anyway. What do we have here? Hills? Plains, but plains are good because we got a whole bunch of nice cavalry. Oh, a lot of crossbowmen. Let's just raise the local army here. Yeah, no, we'll go intercept. You will win decisively, that's what I like to hear. Honestly, don't need these. So I'll just stand them down again.
Let us continue with our battle. Catch the enemy out. I mean, at least they're trying to keep their troops together these days. That's pretty neat. Who are you? You're our vassal and champion. Man, I wish we would build more personal relationship with these characters. So it means more to have them in the battle. As our commanders, you know. Feels a little bit empty as it stands. Not that it ever really meant much in Crusader Kings 2, but that would be something I would like to see added at some point. So to clear my current selection, I, I like to click on impassable terrain because it doesn't select anything. Uh, you might have to abandon this siege once more. Oh no, they, they are reinforcing each other. Good. We'll keep an eye on this. Combat war is... I don't want to say more fun. But it does certainly feel better than it did in Crusader Kings 2. It's, it, it feels more streamlined. Which is good. Improvements all around. Natural dread and control growth. Fine. How old are we? 54. Oh, not too bad. Our rival lover. I wonder if we can get her pregnant. <laughs> probably gonna kill us before it happens. My daughter has pneumonia. Pneumonia? Or was it the granddaughter? Oh, I have more children here! Below the fold! Oh, goodness. Let's get someone in there. I should, I should have just called someone. Alright, we're done here. So be it. Disband all. And now that we have some titles to give away here. I... Uh, that's... Nope. want this emirate here. Usurp. And down to zero gold. I mean, not zero, but you know what I mean. Could as well be zero. Let's see what we can do with you. Alliance power. Emirate of Mercia. Who's currently kind of not happy? Anything we recognize. Peasants. Full rank. These here. Okay. Let's quickly get this done. Yes, let's get some smoldering chemistry going. Alright, okay, now let's give her some titles. She gets all these and this. And. We go to the party and we give this vassal over here because we don't want it. I said I wanted to create a counterweight to this thing that we created. Divide and conquer goes for internal Tyrol. You guys, <laughs> hey, what you doing? How, how did you get over here? That's crazy. How long have you been here? Do you come here often? All right, my boys are finishing up down there. It's good. So see some combat action over here, but it's between these guys. All right, that's good enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. I don't know what to name this, so I'll name it something. Until then, bye-bye.